Hello everyone, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We're doing the full moon reading <laughs> for the full moon in Aries, October 1st, 2020. We're doing it for the Air Collective. We're going to do Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. If you not, if you have never seen one of my full moon or new moon readings before, basically what we do is we see the energy that is fading out. The energy, the current energies and the energies that will be directly influencing, uh, sorry, the, en the energies that the full moon will do be directly influencing. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and start on in here. Libra, please. Okay. Libra, correct her. Thank you. One more, please. All right, there it is. We have emotions are running high. So if you felt anxious about something or whatever it is that you've been worrying about <clears throat> as far as what you've been dealing with your connection here is starting to smooth out. This is a fading energy. So you've been well aware of the situation for quite some time now. We have don't let pride get in the way. The full moon in Leo. You could be dealing with the Leo. This has to talk about possibly expressing these emotions or um, letting your pride suppress them. And we have luck is on your side. Okay. Let's start clarifying. Why is don't let pride get in the way here? We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, Libra. So either you or the person that you are connecting with. Either A has a little workaholic problem. Or B is not working at all. And there's a bit of a financial struggle right now. Can I have one more, please? Oh, okay. All right. We have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, look at that, Libra. Mm. Why is luck on your side here besides this engagement here? All righty. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And past life relationship, you've known each other before. Okay, so either the person you have been romantically involved with for a minute is proposing engagement or somebody you've been dating for a while is about to ask you to you know, for the next step in your guys' relationship. Alrighty. What is the challenge here, Spirit? Strength. Okay. We have the strength card here. So, clarifying, healing family issues and finances we need to go ahead and have the strength to heal it could be um <clears throat> it could be ancestral wounding it could also just be um toxic cycles because it's um clarifying what needed um what you needed strength for the devil the toxic cycles um, under the deck, we have judgment, so it could be strength in a, um, strength for a final decision to cut something toxic completely out of your life, and then you have the sun and the world, so, um, happiness and a brand new, and a brand new cycle, that's what I'm seeing, after, after strength to release this devil energy. Debbie, I found a regular 
You could be dealing with the Leo. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Another Leo. We have Leo twice. Um, and uh, three times. You could either have really strong Leo in your chart. Or you're definitely dealing with the Leo because you have a three bammer right there. Those are all Leo cards. Okay. Oh, ooh, wrong deck. Mm, sorry. Okay. Can we send this up for Libra, please? Alright, number 50. Let me get the book. Okay. We have curiosity, comparisons, dissatisfaction. One of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows every day. Dale Carnegie. We are driven at first by curiosity and then by dissatisfaction to consider alternatives to our present circumstances. The grass appears greener on the other side of the fence, or so we believe. And so it is with this visual take on the tail of the little mermaid. The glass sphere provides her with the means of briefly experiencing another world. And much like a vacation away from home, a brief foray into a different lifestyle, the experience can prove to be intoxicating. It may turn out to be something that leaves us discontent, or it may provide the impetus to move on and make such changes permanent. But we should be wary and consider carefully whether we would truly belong in the, this new environment. We should try to judge it for what it is or what it would be in reality. The attraction and appeal of those brief encounters may not survive a lengthier commitment. <clears throat> How else is that be? Um, okay. That? The grass is always greener on the other side, Libras. And that being said, um, if there's an engagement coming your way and there's something tempting you in another direction, I think you need to fully assess what it is you're going through. Because there's an end of a cycle here, but that could be the end of a, um, a past life relationship. A past life, like a past um, toxic cycle with your person, or it could be a complete end. Any, okay. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. This could be a self-sabotaging thing. Every time something seems contently profound like everything is going good someone could like to um self-sabotage um relationships in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love yeah it could be your person energy flows where my intention goes yeah that's why you feel unsure about whether or not you want to head in this direction of the engagement there's something insecure in them that they're projecting onto you yeah okay all right libra keep that in mind make sure that you love yourself first don't let somebody else's projections make you feel insecure Make sure that you have strength to release this toxicity, this make a final judgment, to be happy and move on to a new cycle, okay? All right, you guys. We're going to move on to Aquarius. 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Alright. Let's get this together. What will Aquarius be going through? This, okay. This full moon. And Aries. Someone in Aries, okay. Wow, okay. Look about, talk about some exciting cards. We have you are very close to achieving your goal. So, come, come the time of the full moon, we're definitely gonna be, I want to say, reaping benefits of whatever it is that you have been working on. Um, what if you have any questions pertaining to it, the answers you need are coming soon in the current events full moon in gemini you could be dealing with a gemini um we also have win-win outcast in the forecast full moon in libra you could be dealing with the libra it looks like no matter what you do aquarius everything is going to fall forward perfectly but don't take my word for it let's clarify first <laughs> but to be honest it looks really nice for what we, for what I see so far. Spirit, tell me more about this full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming for the Aquarius Collective, please. It's time to disconnect from the world. Can I have one more, please, to clarify retreat? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Oh, wow. Okay. The answers you need are coming soon, they say. <laughs> A win-win outcome. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Aww. One more. Heart to heart conversation. So honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is the first time today that I have drawn this card and felt relief. Aquarius is you guys oh my god so far you guys have had the best energy everybody's been in fucking turmoil let's dig in a little deeper spirit can you tell me more about what the challenges will be between wait for Aquarius the hermit wanted to pop out. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, involving the current situations with retreat and it's safe for you to love. Play, and then the immediate future with playfulness and heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Please. We have the world. Could be dealing with the Leo. That's the end of the end of a new an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle and we have the magician so we're manifesting a new beginning a new beginning what in movement forward okay Good. victorious movement forward alrighty alrighty I see you I see you, Aquarius. We have Temperance, the Fool, the Moon, and the Star. Yeah. You're waiting for the right time to make a leap of faith. But you're not telling anybody that this is your wish fulfillment that you're jumping towards. All right. Okay. I see you, Aquarius. I see you. You could be dealing with a Leo... Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Sag, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius. 
going to pay. Can you summarize what's going on here for this Aquarius reading, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Aquarius, please. I turn into the spread. Thank you. Okay, we have 26, the past, present, no, I'm sorry, past, future, and a fresh start, and then we have 31, I don't, uh, I don't remember that one right now, but we're going to do 26 first. <clears throat> okay, past, future, and a fresh start. We are often encouraged to live in the moment, enjoy the present, and not to dwell too much on either the past or future. Yet, in a sense, the present is the least consequential of the three concepts. It's merely an abstract state that we inhabit, but for an instant. In this frozen moment, the woman balances symbols of the enduring concepts of the time that precede and follow on from it. On one side is the past, which is now locked and cannot be changed, symbolized by the book on the last page and fully written. But there is also a mirror as the past still provides value as a reference for reflection and for appraisal and the lessons learned. On the other side here of here of her, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's a key that will open doors and new opportunities and a blank book ready to be written. Cancer also got this card, you guys. You could be dealing with the Cancer. Secrecy, confidentiality. Every relationship between two individuals or two groups will be characterized by the ratio of secrecy that is involved with it. George Simmel. From the clandestine world of espionage to the privacy of our personal inner thought, we attempt to keep our own secrets, but seek those of others. Any sharing of such con uh, confidentialities requires a demonstration of trust, whether it is between nations, corporations, or intimate family and friends. In the context of human relationships, our curiosity or need to know may be for self-interest or desire to help others. To achieve either will require a key. That in turn provides access to the information we seek. It may be facts and figures or simply a better understanding of the circumstances. Such information may be provided freely by those who control it or withheld until we have proven ourselves. These keys may take the form of the more complex cryptic puzzle or password, but also a simple, you can trust me, gesture offered to a troubled friend. In this card, the guardian is herself, symbolically an oracle. She possesses the answers you seek and can provide you with the keys to access them. But before doing so, you may have to prove that you are ready. Seeking greater truths, even those of self-discovery, often requires some demonstration of worthiness. It's this, it's this, um, it's this impulsive manifestation, guys. Realize what you're, what you're manifesting. Be true to yourself. Find the keys for what is your true wish fulfillment before you manifest in the dark. And, re and, and, and not understand why 
things are not going the way that you hoped or dreamed. Any final advice for Aquarius? Aquarius collectors? Oh, okay. We have, there's nothing sexier than my authentic truth. See? Get it. All Aquariuses are sexy, so get it. I choose love no matter what. And one fell down, and let me go find it. We have, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided to the light. There it is, Aquarius. There it is, Aquarius. <laughs> I hope this helps. And we are going to move on to Gemini. Okay, let's do this. What is Gemini going to be going through? This full moon in Aries? Oh, okay. Yes. Here. Debbie. How do you want that? My mind, my mind says you have to, uh, to Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to see where they went. Um, okay. So we have, it's time to take action, the new moon in Aries. We could be dealing with an Aries. We have, bring love into the situation, the new moon in Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. And we have, nothing will come of this situation. Okay, Gemini, what is going on? <laughs> it was all promise, and then it just fell through, I guess. Let's see what's going on. Okay, hold on. Debbie's OCD cannot deal with these upside down cards right now. Okay, there you go. Sorry. Okay, so Spirit, what can you tell me about bring love into this situation? The new moon in Aquarius for my Gemini collective, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the upcoming moon. Full moon, October 1st, the Aries full moon, please. Bring love into the situation. Okay, we're going to take this one. <laughs> A new love. A new person has sturdier romantic feelings. Oh. Okay. Can I have one more for this? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Wow. Okay, Gemini. This is exciting. <laughs> what is nothing will come of this situation? Trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, that being said, we're going to jump into that. What is the challenge going on here for my Geminis? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. We have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy, and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Virgo, 
You're holding back. You're holding back from um from showing your your feelings. You're being really in your ego and you're just playing you're playing you're playing games here. I don't even think that you're interested in this person that's trying to um to stir up some right yeah, some romantic feelings. Yeah, see, we have the lovers and the hierophant upside down. There you're in a commitment. Why okay. Why is trust here? The moon. Yeah, see? You're you're ma you're <laughs> Gemini, you are in your ego. You are in your ego really high right now, my friend. Tell me more about the moon. The hangman. Okay. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a uh, Cancer Scorpio. You could be dealing with a uh, Pisces with the hangman. You're holding on to the secret. You know that you have this whatever this is in the back of your pocket you're hiding it with your ego and you, you may not be acting on it but you're hiding it for a reason you're hiding it for a reason mm 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 Gemini's. Can you tell me what's going on here with the Gemini Collective, please? Thank you. We have number 18. Alrighty. We have nurturing, taking care of others. When you are a mother, you are never really alone in your thoughts. A mother always has to think twice. Once for herself and once for her child. Sophia Lauren. This card may present the nurturing nature of a mother embracing her child, a teacher guiding his student, or a master training his apprentice. Each balances the desires to protect and provide direction to those under his or her care with the need to also allow room for personal growth. We can prepare them, inform them, and advise them. But eventually, there will come the moment when we will need to resist the impulse to reach out and instead must let them fall. When they rise again, of their own accord, we can take comfort in knowing that we taught them well. All right, Gemini's. A lot of you could be uh, um, parents, um, older kids, seeing them leave, you know, um, the house, you know, uh, growing up type thing. I also have. Um, I also have growing out of uh, growing out of a relationship mostly for self improvement. Not just I think um, more than anything, Gemini. I think that you're you're doing it for your person. You know, I think internally you know that you will grow as well, but it's not for you. Your this decision is not for you. This is a decision to protect somebody you love. Any, um, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. Yeah, you don't want, you don't want to hurt anyone. My captivity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost. I think Taurus got this one as well. And then the moment I realign with love, 
clear direction is pre presented to me. And then we have the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. You're trying to free yourself from a situation that you've outgrown. You, you've outgrown it. And the only thing that is keeping you from personal growth is this. And you know it. And you're trying to free yourself from it because you know that there's a better way to live. And it's not just for you. I really do believe it's not just for you, Gemini. I do really believe that you're doing it to help your person out as well. Um, I think that it's a very fearless act, actually. I feel it. Um, it's like a baby bird pushing. <laughs> I mean, it's like a mother, bird, a mother bird pushing their young out the nest, knowing that they can fly. It's not cruel. You just know that you can, you can, they can do it on their own. <sighs> okay, Gemini. I hope this helped. All my air signs, I hope you guys have a wonderful full moon. Yes. Very interesting. Um, <laughs> my son in the background. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.